वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ स्टार्ट अप हियर वी ब्रेक डाउन बिजनेस आइडियाज टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इट टेक्स टू स्टार्ट वन फ्रॉम क्लोज नेट एंड कंटेम्प्ररी डेस्टिनेशन वेडिंग टू अ बिग फैट इंडियन वेडिंग देर आर एटलीस्ट टू थाउजेंड हु आर टाइंग द नॉट एवरी सिंगल डे इन द लास्ट ईयर अलोन मोर देन अ मिलियन वेडिंग्स टू प्लेस इन इंडिया द सेरेमनीज कुड लास्ट एनी वेयर अराउंड द डे टू एज लॉन्ग एज फाइव डेज होस हैव Uh, budgets ranging from rupees one lakh to rupees five lakh, going up to rupees seventy-two crore. Yes, that's approximately the cost of Isha Ambani's wedding. Isha Ambani is Mukesh Ambani's only daughter. Pictures of lavish weddings, starting off with Anushka Sharma and Virat Kohli, Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas, Deepika Padukone and Ranveer Singh, among many others, are attracting NRIs and foreign nationals from all over the world. these people are flying in just to have an indian wedding ceremony this makes the marriage industry recession proof and a burgeoning market as a wedding planner if you are organizing a full stack wedding then you are responsible for almost everything till the very last ceremony decoration catering clothes travel bookings pickups and drops venue selection dance choreographer music and beautician are a few important things on the list of arrangements a wedding planner has to make to plan a wedding you can either choose to have a full time team or hire freelancers according to your assignments if you plan to be a regular planner who arranges 7 uh, to 10 weddings in a month then having a full time team would be a good idea but for people just starting out having few projects working with freelancers would be a better idea you may also have to work on certain projects uh, like being hired to organize a sangeet only before you can go on to plan a entire wedding delivering the best services to your customers and networking are very important before starting your business it is highly advisable to work with a team and experience the whole process some experience is necessary to get into this business you will have to invest in a good laptop with high storage capacity this should cost you anywhere above rupees 20000 For starters, you can either choose to work out of your home or move into a small office or a co-working. Renting a desk in a co-working space should cost you rupees seven thousand a month or more. Everything else is ordered from vendors based on your requirements. So, having an initial capital of anything between rupees five lakh to rupees ten lakh may be required to place orders with vendors. You will need to create a reliable network of vendors for supply, especially for emergencies. Investing in marketing. would be advisable once you have organized a few ceremonies and have something to show word of mouth recommendations are the best marketing tool in this business instagram accounts and facebook pages are your best friends setting up a website would also be helpful this would cost you rupees uh, 1500 to rupees 3000 and you can get started in the wedding planning business earnings are also completely based on your clientele and the ceremonies you organize a full stack wedding planner can earn between 10 to 15% commission of the total wedding budget so for a wedding budget of say rupees 10 lakh one can easily earn at least rupees 1 lakh wedding planning requires creativity people management time management and working at unearthly hours if your caterer cancels a day before the d day you need to step up and fix it if there is a power cut or sound system is faulty then you have to handle the situation you will struggle to build your reputation in the initial years but once you have showcased your talent and organized fun ceremonies good word will spread like wildfire and profits will only flow in well that's about wedding plan hope you like the idea and for more such ideas log on to www.entrepreneur.com liked the video then don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to entrepreneur india hit the bell icon to get notified for more such videos